Hey guys, Klesto here. Um, here to make a tutorial video for something I've been doing for a little while. Uh, people have been asking me questions about how I do the instant replay while live streaming uh, using the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable, and I currently use the Live Gamer HD as the PCI card. Uh, but really, you can do this with any portable device, USB device, that will work with a time shift capable software. There might be more out there I don't know about, and any PCI card. You cannot use two PCI cards, but you can probably use two USB devices. It's not something I've tested. Uh, before I get going, I do want to give a quick shout out to some of the people you see at the bottom. Uh, they're not sponsors quite, but they're just friends of mine who I'd like to give a quick plug. Uh, Freak Mods, the maker of the Cerberus, the Link, and the upcoming Crossbone, which will be uh, Nice mod for uh, Xbox One sticks to work with other consoles. Uh, MatchupNotes.com. Uh, check out Matchup Notes. It's an Android app uh, made by Janu Serda. A really good note keeping tool for anyone who plays tournament fighting games. Uh, really customizable for any game that you want. Uh, Advent Saga, a tactical card game coming up. Uh, friends of mine are making that, so you can see that demoed at UFGT 10, which is going to be at the Crown Plaza in O'Hare, uh, May 23rd through 25th. If you can get to Chicago, it's going to be the last one. It's going to be a great tournament, and I will be streaming from there. Uh, so it'd be pretty great for you to come check it out. So, uh, getting started, you're going to need to uh, have a few things set up ahead of time. Uh, first of all, you're probably going to need hotkeys to make this work smoothly set to your scenes in OBS or XSplit. I have done this in both. It works fine in both. Uh, but you do need to launch them as an administrator. Otherwise, the RE Central application will eat your hotkeys. So, uh, set those up. I do Control 3 for my main scene for this guy, and then I do Control Shift 3 for the replay. Uh, really, they're anything that's comfortable to your hand that is going to come out quickly when you go to do it. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and launch the RE Central app and you're going to have your capture going. You can probably most easily run it through the Live Gamer Portable and then pass it through to your PCI device. Uh, there is some USB lag on the capture of the Live Gamer Portable, but that does not affect the pass-through. So you won't have any extra latency on your PCI capture if you pass the HDMI through the LGP. Uh, so that's pretty good. And the lag on the LGP doesn't really matter because we're going to be using time shift to go back in time at lots of points anyways. So we're going to go ahead and start RE Central. Uh, you're going to want to select the Live Gamer Portable up here. If you have more than one Aver device, it'll give you an option. So uh, make sure that Time Shift is on. In order to do that, you may have to come into Advance first and set up a couple things. Uh, you want to make sure the platform is set to Game Console. If it's set to the other two, I don't believe you can do Time Shift. You want the video format to be TSH264. Uh, you can play with the rest if you need to. Uh, you Obviously, you don't have to have 60 frames per second. 30 will probably work fine. Uh, once everything's set and you have time shift on, you're going to go ahead and hit ready and launch that. So, whoops, whoops, whoops. I was a little ahead of myself. Uh, so in OBS, you're basically using the PCI card as your main capture, and then you're using LGP through RE Central and then region capturing that. So that's pretty much the entirety of the process. So you're going to go ahead and in OBS do Add, Window Capture. It'll probably default to one of the RE Central, but there's a lot of different components of the window, so you want to pick Video Window. Hit OK. And then you can edit the scene and make it as large as you need to to fit your screen. So that's going to be your replay scene. So anytime something happens uh, in regular gameplay, oops, let's give that a shot. So in your PCI card, it's going to be capturing live. Usually when something nutty happens in between rounds, you're going to be cutting to probably the commentators or the players anyways. Uh, so as I'm doing that, I'm usually going to queue up the replay. Now to queue up the replay, 
this is the only pain in the butt part. You have to do it kind of manually. You're going to bring your mouse over here and you're going to click on the time bar until you find right about the right area. Uh, usually it's something you kind of want to do in advance. So, and then you just kind of keep clicking on that spot right about there to keep it handy. So, when you're ready to change your replay, you have it all queued up. You're going to go ahead and swap to your replay scene. Oh, look at the swag. God. And then uh, when that's all done, you're going to go ahead and swap back to any of your normal scenes. Uh, again, you do usually want to use hotkeys, the main reason being that if you're region capturing and you accidentally shove a window in the wrong spot, you're going to end up with some wonky shit. So uh, just go ahead and set up some hotkeys. It's pretty easy to change back and forth. Uh, that is pretty much it. I will note um, I changed to the Life Game, Live Gamer HD pretty much entirely because of the onboard encoding because running these two things at once uh, I have a moderate computer. I have an i7-950. It's a first gen i7 so it's not the most efficient thing. Uh, it's overclocked a bit but nothing crazy. I spent all of uh, Frosty Fossing 6 running at about 90% CPU. Uh, so it is going to definitely put a load on your machine. Uh, one thing you can do to get around that is use the Live Gamer HD that actually has the encoding on the card itself, which is going to definitely cut things down. Right now, uh, I usually run at about 45%, maybe 50s, uh, depending on other things that I have going on in the background. So it's a lot more CPU efficient, keeps the heat down, keeps things rolling smoothly. Uh, that is basically the entirety of it. Uh, if you have any questions on how you get anything set up or if you're having any technical issues, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, like I said, come see me at UFGT10 and I will talk to you later.